It's so seductive to think that there is a plan and that somebody is watching out. But I really do think the world would be a better place without religious belief. In life, lots of things can be true, but to not be open to the spiritual realm. Yeah, you, it just seems like you wouldn't live a very full, rich life. I'm a 28-year-old uh, attorney from Los Angeles. I live with five roommates because I'm a millennial. Definitely a big nerd. I also really like competing because I could be that guy or gal soon if I work hard enough. I am mostly a stay-at-home mom. I'm currently in a season where I feel like I'm really taking the time to deepen my relationship with God and see how that affects my life and my relationships. I crave to learn even more. I'm an agnostic atheist. There are unknowable things, but I have come to a conclusion that I don't believe in a god or gods. It is so seductive to think that there's a grand plan, but it's like cheating, where you say, all you have to do to be a good person is join us, do bad things, and then confess, and it's okay without demanding that you prove it. That's not how you make the world a better place. You know, I'm not perfect. <laughs> so I've made lots of mistakes and I think it did take going through some tough times to see more of God's grace and forgiveness to me. And so I feel like more capacity to show that to other people. I think that not being religious forces you to be introspective you really have to think, am I personally doing the right thing? Am I personally making the world a better place? I think there are a lot of misconceptions. Probably that Christians are very closed-minded, maybe not as intellectual, or that we're delusional. <laughs> but to not be open to the spiritual realm, to not be living on that plane in addition to all the wonderful other planes of life, I feel like would be a sad thing to miss out on. You know, I'm just looking out the window at the sky and the trees and the flowers and hearing the birds and thinking about my daughter in the other room. And I don't know, um, I just feel like there would be a level of greater perspective and hope and just a richness of life that I would be missing. I'm pregnant, so I'm allowed to tear up. <laughs> but I guess I wouldn't know it. I think I'm lucky as an attorney. I'm part of a larger justice system to flex my moral muscles and make the world a better place. That provides me meaning. That makes me happy. On the weekends, you know, when I'm resting up or cutting loose, I do a, an internet radio show all about politics and law. And so we get to bounce ideas off of each other. Yeah, we are looking for meaning in a likely meaningless universe, but we're doing it together. And you gotta build your own. As Christians, we don't know everything there is to know about the way God works, but our focus should be love first. Help. Help. I imagine that most people come up with our worldview based on all our life experiences and what we hope to get out of life. Like, nobody knows everything, so that's a common ground between everybody. But that we're trying, I think that's a good first step. <laughs>